Hello, you're right on time. It's always nice to start off being punctual. So this is the uh, suit that you need a few adjustments on. Yeah, I can see that. We need to just make a few minor changes here, but nothing too serious. Uh, this is a really nice suit. It looks good on you, but I'm assuming most things do. Don't be modest. It doesn't suit you. Um, Alright, so I'm sure this is not your first rodeo by any means, so I'm sure you know the drill. So why don't we just jump right in and get started. So I like to start So let's start off by measuring your shoulders. Okay, so let's get right in here. Oh, yeah, just kind of like hold your shoulders as you as you naturally would. Don't try to stand like in any sort of awkward position. Oh. So how's your day going so far? Oh, that sounds fun. Nice. I have been there before. Yeah, it's a really good restaurant. What'd you get? Oh yeah, they make amazing, amazing thin crust pizzas. I, I've gotten that before. It's hard to find. Pizza. Have you ever been to Italy? That was that was the best pizza I ever had in my entire life. Food there is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean besides the architecture and just all the sightseeing, you don't have to go just for the food. All right, so let me just write down these notes for that. <laughs> That's funny. No, I never, never thought of it that way. But you do raise a good point. Um, okay. So next, I'm gonna measure it back. Actually, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here distracted me with that pizza talk. Um, before I step around and measure your back, can you lift up your arms for me? kind of want to see your range of motion. Yeah, just like lift them all the way up above your head. Then I'll actually show me if we do need to let it out a little bit in the back. Yeah, it's looking a little bit snug. It doesn't look like you can raise your arms all Okay, I'll tell them to come around behind you. Um, yeah, it does look like we're going to have to let this out just a little bit. But that will be an easy adjustment to make. So when do you um, need this bike? What's the, um, what's the occasion? Oh, speaking engagement. How many people are there, like, expected to be in the crowd? Oh, wow. I would be so intimidated to speak in front of a crowd that size. Have you done something like this before? I'm just gonna put some clips on the jacket just to 
show where I want to mark this. Um, how often do you speak in front of like large groups? Oh, wow. Did it take a lot of practice to get over your nerves, so it was just something that you were able to do naturally right off the bat. Yeah, speaking in front of crowds is something that really intimidates me. That and uh, like attempting to do stand-up comedy, that seems like that would just be so terrifying. Right, let me clip these on your suit really quickly, I'm gonna come back here. that you're wearing. This is nice. This is the tie that you're going to be wearing for the speech. Yeah, it goes really well, the suit. I like that. It's a nice fabric. Where'd you get it? It brings out your eyes. Um, Alright. One second. Alright, I'm going to come around behind you. I'm just going to let the seam out of this jacket. Just a little. This is going to make this a lot, a lot of roomier feeling for you. Yeah, it's going to feel much, much better. Put a little clip right over here. All right, perfect. Um, yeah, just hold still just for one second. Okay, wonderful. Um, okay, so what do we have next? Okay, now if you could just drop your arms just naturally down to your side. I want to see that the, the sleeves are lining up with your knuckles. Okay, just relax your arms. Just gonna measure here from the shoulder all the way down. Yeah, it looks like these need to be let out just a little, a little bit. side. Yeah. We're gonna have to let these out just a little bit. Right, let me make a note of this. Did you grow up in this area? Where are you from originally? Okay. Yeah, I actually grew up not far from there myself. What high school did you go to? Oh, that's so funny. That was, um, that was our rival high school. We're like sworn enemies, actually. I might not be able to do a good job on this suit video now. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to intentionally butcher it. Alright, um, what, what year did you graduate? Oh, crazy. Yeah, you're just like two years ahead of me. Alright, so take your, um, shirt and pull it over the collar of your jacket. I want to see how that looks. I have a little bit, a little bit of extra fabric there. Note of that. Oh, that's so funny that we grew up just like right down the street practically from each other. Did you play sports or anything? Oh, nice. Yeah, I 
was um I was on the soccer team. I was left wing. Left footed. In case you were wondering. is looking pretty pretty good so why don't you there's a chair behind you why don't you just practice sitting down i want to see like sit and stand just a couple times for me i want to see i think if those pants look like they're a little too tight or not so can you sit and stand easily on here. Let me put this around your, around your waist. So we want the trousers ideally to sit like pretty high on the waist. That's gonna make everything else line up properly. So if that's not the case, then it kind of like throws everything else out of alignment. Well, it looks like the waist is good. Let me write that down. In the seam. Okay, let's stop. Come down all the way to the end of the pants. It looks like we're actually gonna have to to let out the hem on these pants just a little bit. Let me see if it's the same on the other side. Um, okay, it's here. Yeah, actually on both short so I'm gonna let them out on this so just hold still I'm just gonna okay almost done you're doing great so how did you um, how'd you hear about us Oh, all right. Yeah, I just kind of like, like to know. It helps me for, for marketing purposes. This is really nice material. Now the suit looks amazing on you. Once we get this like all fitted properly on you, I'm gonna look like James Bond. Okay, let's see here. Let me back up again. I'm actually just going to use a little bit of a lint roller on you. It's just a little, a little bit of lint on this suit. What am I doing later? I'm actually not really doing anything tonight. I think I'm just going to do a, like a Netflix and chill kind of a night. I'm super late to the game, but I started watching The Handmaid's Tale. Have you seen that? It's on Hulu. I'm really enjoying it. I think I might have to read the book after I finish the series, which is the wrong order of events, but I'm just really fallen in love with that. I do recommend it. Yeah, I'll probably just order some food in. I was really bad all weekend, so I'm probably just gonna get like sushi or salad or something like that. Yeah, it was bad yesterday. Yeah, we went to this Mexican restaurant. Yeah, so let's stop. I'm just gonna get some of this lint off for you. These amazing, amazing burritos at this place. It's like right across the street from my house, so it's so dangerous. Yeah, no, it's like a blessing and a curse. It just calls to me. Okay, just wrap this 
over a little bit. What's your favorite? Like your favorite type of food in the whole world? That is good. Yeah, no, I can definitely get on board with that for sure. Um, so I don't know if they told you, so sort of a little bit of an unusual service, but we actually offer complimentary massages with every suit fitting. Yeah, just something to uh, stand out from the competition. It's hard to get business these days. You gotta raise the bar. So would you be interested in getting just a quick little shoulder massage before you go? All right, wonderful. So is there any part that's like particularly tense? Do you hold your tension more in your neck or in your shoulders? Oh yeah, now I can feel there's like a little bit of a knot there. Yeah, let me work that out. Just knead into that. And I actually want to be in a suit before, before becoming a seamstress, so yeah, I try to just combine both talents, so <laughs> figured, uh, you know, who's ever going to turn down a massage. Okay, now all you have to do is relax. tend to carry like a lot of stress in their arms from all the you know lifting that they do using their hands even your forearms can get pretty pretty tight and you probably wouldn't even realize that yeah does that feel good on your forearm just like some gentle gentle squeezes on the arm it can feel really nice good be pampered a little bit just to relax especially after you know, you've been running around all day and going from place to place it's nice just to stand still Definitely feel that you do have a little bit of a knot there. Spend a little, a little bit of extra time there. Just need that spot for a minute. <laughs> so you're gonna be coming back for for a lot of future fittings. I'm good. I'm glad. Look forward to to seeing you. Okay, I'm gonna go back down this arm now, down the shoulder. Is that like a good amount of pressure? I don't squeeze like too hard, but yeah, if it's too light, that doesn't really do anything. Okay, perfect. 
you have to do like a lot of things after this or can you just go home and relax? Oh good. Good. I'm glad. Alright, I'm gonna work down the forearm. And then I'm gonna go down your fingers a little bit. It actually feels really good to just like squeeze down the fingers and then have a little Such a good spot. It's actually a pressure point. Just squeeze that a little. Wonderful. And you can tell that you're looking way, way more relaxed. Well, I hate to um, get you all relaxed and then send you on your way. If you want to just Hang on on the couch for a little bit, you can. Are you thirsty? I can get you some water. Hey, why don't you just sit down and relax for a little bit? There is no rush. The next customer is not coming for like another half hour, so. Why don't you just sit down and take it easy? I wouldn't want you to have to rush out the 